What the? GT3 deposit form? I think this guy died waiting for a GT3 allocation. You're watching Throttle House, and my name is Thomas Holland. And I'm James Engelsman, and you're watching... Welcome to the Throttle House Halloween Special. <laughs> This, this is the Porsche, Porsche GT3. No, Thomas, stop it! It's the Halloween special. It's not special if you keep doing that. Sorry. Sorry. So, the GT3. A 500 horsepower, 200 mile an hour car that can get to 60 in 3.9 seconds. But as we're going to learn, that's not what this sports car is about. If you want something purely for straight line speed, look elsewhere. You could combine Dumbledore and Gandalf, and you still don't get to the magic that is the 911 GT3. But there is a downside to that. To get into any normal car afterwards feels like going from Floridian fresh orange juice to convenience store toothpaste. If you do decide to eat from the tree though, it's an experience you won't forget in a hurry. Indeed, the GT3 is a magical package but magic that is created through serious engineering and genuine attention to detail. The 500 naturally aspirated horsepower are made possible by a 4-liter flat 6 with a full dry sump oil system and solid lifters. Everything that could be done has been done to make sure the GT3 engine can take a beating at the track and keep coming back for more. A rear axle steering system, six piston brakes, and fully adjustable tow camber and anti-roll bar mean that the GT3 was engineered to obliterate any racetrack it finds. So sadly, James and I were stuck trying to experience one of the best cars in the world on a soggy road in Ontario. Subscribe if you feel bad for us. All right, why is this a Halloween special, James? Well, because we thought even though ghosts are scary, it would be better to be on track tires in minus four and it's starting to snow, starting to snow. Yeah. Yeah. in a Porsche GT3. All right, you said to me before we were going to get into this car that this would be the best car that I've ever driven in my life. I'm as sure as I can be. Unfortunately, we haven't got the best setting for it. So this Not is really. However, the sound is already good. <laughs> Ridiculously yes, good. We have that is just beyond belief. Naturally aspirated. Flat six. Flat six. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That is just next level. Holy. What is the red line on this thing? 9,000. 9,000 RPM. That's what it's famous for. 9,000 it RPM. It's, no, I did know it. I didn't. I didn't like I, you can't process it yeah. until you do it. Yeah. <laughs> that is immediately the best engine I have ever had in a car in my hands. Yeah. Easily. I'm, right? I'm very confident it's gonna be your This is the yeah, best so car, yeah. we need to we need to hit it with a little bit more corners. We got a corner coming up. Corner. Yeah. Okay. Alright, what's the steering like? Nice weight. No oh, there's feedback. A little bit of communication coming from the front. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm ruined. It's happened. I'm ruined forever. It's happened. That's it. That's the, that's Nothing the, will ever be this good. It's the curse of Porsche. It's the Halloween curse of Porsche. Oh, curse, that's it. That's it, yeah. You're done. That's why people own 25 911s. And they're the people that get these cars and no one else can. And no one else can. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the most terrifying prospect yeah. because every car enthusiast in the world should be able to do what I'm about to do right now. Oh my god. I, <laughs> usually I have so many words to say, I just don't. So I'll help you out. Okay, go. One concern with this car is that Cons there's no concern. No, okay, no, no. just go. Sorry, no, no. One concern with the future of the GT3 yes. moniker is that it was going to be turbocharged, and that would ruin it because this is the best. Oh my god! And then you would say goodbye to naturally aspirated, so people were rushing at these cars. 
But recently, there's been more and more spy photos, and apparently, the next one's also naturally aspirated, so. Well, that's good news. The damping is unbelievable. Like, these are not smooth roads, but it just it's just so good. It's just, I know, I'm just so. Saying, I like, I'm like, <laughs> shut up, Thomas. <laughs> there's a natural that's aspiration engine. Oh, dude, I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's without a doubt the premium driver's car because everything about the experience of where I'm sitting right now yeah. is literally sublime. Yes. The steering is the steering wheel is lovely. The position of this like the seat is lovely. The seats are lovely. The clutch is lovely. Everything is perfect. It's actually a crime to phone someone through the Bluetooth when they're driving a GT3. <laughs> yeah. Because they can't. They have to stop listening to the engine or they have to <laughs> exactly. slow down or pull over. This is just next level good. Do you not think if this car had like a Tinder account? Or maybe I, I guess it would be a grinder account given the uh the shift knob and the demographic of the Maybe, buyer. Yep. Either way, if yep. it had a Tinder account, its bio would be like, naturally aspirated, uh, just one adventure, and if I swiped right, it's just because you had a cute dog. <laughs> like, it, it, it just, it knows how good it is. It 100%, yeah. 100% right, so maybe, knows maybe, how good it is. Maybe I've been hurt before. <laughs> but, but, but no, that is 100% what yeah, it is. It's a catch, though. It is. It's a catch. But, and, and it, and it does know how good it is. Yeah. There's a confidence to the way that the car, the, the, the way when they engineered it, they're like, we know how good this engine is. You don't need to have a conversation. Yeah. You just need to hear the engine. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so lovely. But being that it's a catch, yeah. you won't get one. So this was a 2018 run only car. And now if you want one, people are selling them for like 40 to 70K over MSRP. That now. is just a crime. Yeah. Oh, just... I want to drive this. So I want to drive this. All right, you're going to drive. All right, we're going to turn around up here. You're going to drive because you have to experience this car. I feel yeah. like you've been waiting to drive this car pretty it's much your dream, whole life. dream car of mine. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Isn't the steering incredibly accurate? Stunning. This car makes you want to push it. <laughs> I know. You know, like... Well, because the throttle response is like... Oh. It couldn't be more immediate. Oh. I know. That's just as crazy from this seat, by the way. I know. That's just as crazy from this seat. Oh, I left that Miata behind us in the dust. <laughs> you did. <laughs> An important thing with this car is it's fitted with the front axle lift system, which for moments like this is very easy to appreciate. Yeah, no kidding, because yeah. this is a... Re what, why are we on this road? And we need to be on a track in a GT3. This is not the right spot for this, but front axle lift makes it possible because these are some ridiculous bumps. Although, I don't know, like, if you're driving around Toronto, I don't know if I would want to live with this, because this is not the smoothest ride. It's, I, d I don't think it could be your only car. No, it's so well damped. Like, it's down and up, immediate, but it's not comfy. You know, how is the shifter? Isn't it amazing? It's fantastic. I got out of the M2 competition yesterday. I have to say, the M2, there was a bit of flex, there was a bit of give. Yeah. I don't know why. This this is so notchy. It's just bang. Yeah. It's it's an incredibly solid feel. And it's not just that, the shifts feel solid too. So solid. I just want to be shifting all day, except I don't because then I don't. But then you don't get to rev yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah. But there's a reason people buy this and just track it. Yes. It's 100%. It just keeps revving and revving and revving. And if nothing else, like, like we haven't talked about the interior. Infotainment is fine. Like this screen is super sharp. It's good. All the buttons have a solid click to them. Everything's in a really obvious area, but I don't care about any of this. No. Usually I talk about this stuff. Honestly, you do not need any of this because nothing matters except for the engine. I know, like, that, I know that the next gen they're doing like it's like a bigger, more digital display. They're, they're doing kind of what the Audi thing are doing. I'm not sure I want that. I like this like five dial situation. It Maybe. So I was, they're not that bright though. Like I, it's not very easy to see. No, not really. But you don't really care because the only thing that you're ever looking at is that little Revs. yellow needle going higher and higher and higher. Just the rev gauge. That's the only thing you care yeah. about. Literally, I'm sitting in carbon fiber buckets in a car that revs to 9,000 RPM, and I have a fire extinguisher between my legs, but. It's still somehow so refined. So refined. Like even, like everything, like the noise, the way, like the, the bump sound in the car, like the way that the damping feels, the materials, everything is so high quality feeling, but it still is somehow so ridiculously raw. 
right? Yeah. You just smile because that is it. Yeah. It's a, bit like, it's a bit like Dwayne Johnson. In what way? He's just lovely. Explain your simile. He's just so lovely. <laughs> but you also know he's the rock. Someone asked me what I want for my birthday. You want I GT3? Want, I want two and a half thousand more RPMs than my current car. <laughs> than your car. Yeah, yeah, so if it has to come in the form of the GT3. Yeah. It's important to note, though, that the original S2000s obviously are known for the same thing. It's true, but there's something about the flat six whale. Yes. There's something about the way that this revs and the way the sound kind of makes a noise that goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to imitate a GT3 engine. Are you ready? Did that make any sense? Did I get it right? Yeah. Yeah. I got I it did. more right. You, you did get it yeah. more right. Yeah. But, but yeah, it does it with class as well. It does. It's like so it. smooth in the way it delivers that. So smooth. And, it, and it, like it's, Porsche, the Porsche does it in such a classy way. You know, if you were driving a car like this around town, it would be an insult for a vape cloud to leave your window like it does when you're behind. <laughs> it you absolutely know, like would. A, a Mitsubishi Lancer. And you know, you know what? It, you never see a clean red GT3 with vape coming out of it. It just wouldn't work. No. It well, wouldn't you, happen. You, you might see it, but then you can immediately call the police because it's been stolen. <laughs> I do. I just want to rip this car. Yeah, I know. It, it just like, makes you want to go, and it, and that and for the, that reason, it's too much for the road. It's too yeah, much. immediately like because yeah. we've been able to run out to red line yeah. twice, three times maybe since we've been driving it. Yeah, and we're on back roads. We're not even in the city. It, it needs a track. That's where it would feel. That's where it would be at home. Yeah, be, you'd be left frustrated. Yeah, you'd, you'd have such fun driving it, but it would be something left. You'd get home and you'd be angry. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you go home like dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Yeah. <laughs> so but what's yeah. wrong? I'm driving a GT3. I thought you loved that car. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you get to feel it. There's something I don't know how to how better to explain that. You know, we drove the SVR, yeah. the FBF type. Yeah. And it, it feels fantastic, and the loud, the, you know, the, the noise is loud. Exhaust is There's a drama good. to it, but yes. this, you like from your fingers to your toes, you get to feel that moment when you do that. Yeah. You no, know? absolutely. It's it's such a but that's the that's the best part. That's its signature dish is being able to deliver those sensations, that unbelievable, crazy wailing feeling, while still being civilized. Yeah, and the manual just gives you such a control. It does. Like I, like control. the PDK is amazing. I've driven Porsches with PDKs, but to be able to 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 shift physically at nine thousand RPM is the most quintessential motoring thing that you can do in the world. Yes. The, the, man, the PDK is wonderful, as you said. Yeah. But the manual in this car asks you not what the GT3 can do for you, but what you can do for the GT3. And that makes a, that means you get to have a relationship with your car. Yeah. And in the best possible way. In the best way. Yeah. Yeah. And it's legal. <laughs> so even in our quick drive, the Porsche GT3 left an impression that might never be matched by another car. It's a genuine masterpiece. And one of the most terrifying things in the motoring world is that even if you had the money to buy a GT3, you probably weren't able to get one. So make sure you subscribe, because while Halloween will come and go, Throttle House is here to stay. Actually, Halloween's pretty consistent. It's the same time every year. So, you know, you, Throttle House might not be around forever. You keep eating Fry Supremes, you might die an early death. And Shut up, James. It was one time.